be uh, good to be in the theatre again after like I don't know at least 18 months of lockdown. Awesome to see Pam Wee in her element as well. It's camped. It's glam. It's educational. It's hilarious. It'll make you think about the people that you love. I love that it was very personal. I love that Pam wrote it and I love that it came from her perspective. I love the show. Um, basically, I didn't expect to actually go through that entire uh, gay history through this show. I love the fact that she brought us down memory lane. Uh, every story she told, I could identify. The happy days, the pink dots, <laughs> really brought back memories. It is funny, it is vulnerable, I think Pam is a great entertainer, but also, can I just say, shout out to Julian Wong, he is so talented. I thought he was, seeing, I've never seen Julian before, and he was Fantastic. incredibly talented. The music was a highlight for me, goosebumps all over. Every song and the story of 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 the I hope that we can have a lot more open discussions about how the queer community is continuously evolving because every year you learn new things, there are new discoveries. So even if, say, we manage to repeal 377A, I hope these conversations never stop happening. We have come a long way, but we still have a lot to do. And it's important that we see that and acknowledge that and keep fighting. I've had friends who have really not been able to live in the sunshine for so long, for all their lives. And I don't want that to happen. I want us to all ensure that there is true equity. My biggest takeaway was uh, actually a lesson about friendship, what it means to be a good friend to people in the LGBTQ community in Singapore, and what it means to support them and to love them. You know, come and watch this show because Pam is amazing. She has an amazing talent of telling stories. It's a great time. You it's have a fun, fun time, yeah. So come and watch.